Hello, Shabbat Shalom. I hope you're well. Absolutely horrified. What's happened this week? Speechless and surreal, unimaginable, and it's been absolutely horrid. Let's dedicate this little thought at first that there should be peace, Israel should be safe, and all the hostages should come home. The Lubavitcher Rebbe, throughout his lifetime, would repeatedly respond to when there were different times that Israel was being threatened with the same type of message. And it's only now, as much as I've known it and shared it in the past, it's only now that I'm starting to get it in a different dimension. We could look at this past week and just see the homo sapien part of the human, the animal part of the human, and go down that tunnel of how horrid and how grotesque the worst of humanity can be when we look around and see that developing. And on one hand, when there's a truth that within humans, there's absolute horror there. And the history of humanity hasn't shown itself that way. And what the Lubavitcher Rebbe was Tempting and keeps giving on that or over that message that there's another side to us, there's another side to humanity, there's another option, which is that option of hope, the option of belief in better, in peace, in doing more mitzvot, in adding more light. In the face of whatever's going on, having that resolve and belief that we will be successful and good will triumph. And for that, I would like to dedicate once again and, and put out there, whether it's lighting Shabbat candles, putting on tefillin, doing extra acts of goodness and kindness, believing in humanity's best side, that we can overcome this. And Mashiach now. Shabbat Shalom.